What's going on guys? Welcome back to the DX Camera Show. My name is Operation DX and welcome to the second episode of my revisit of SimCity after all the fancy patches and stuff. And basically we're checking out to see if the game is a little cleaner as far as traffic goes and I'm sure I could just read the forms and stuff but it's more fun to do it this way. So it seems that you guys are cool with me going ahead and doing this micro let's play of Sim City, as we've done a huge one on this channel already. Uh, the comments were overwhelmingly positive on the last video, and the video got 30 likes over the weekend, or 29 likes. And uh, cool, I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, run through and continue here and just uh, check things out. Now, you did not say what direction you wanted me to take this city in uh, in the last video, so if you don't tell me, I'm pretty much going to make it a tech city. Because uh, I'm just going to do my standard kind of thing. Obviously not a standard city design because I definitely want to mix things up here Especially from all the stuff that you see me do in my main let's play and yeah I've been meaning to load up my old city my casino city uh, Lost wages to check out to see if the patch influenced that at all or the several patches that is but I've been so busy playing the new Grand Theft Auto over the weekend that I just completely forgot about it. So I went way overboard this weekend and I'm extremely sleep deprived at this very moment. And I'm going to have to make up for it sometime this week. Oh, in my opinion, Grand Theft Auto is so good. It is just an amazing game so far, and uh, I just can't wait to play more, but I'm just gonna have to do it in more moderation because I just went too, too crazy. I didn't expect it to be as impressive as it is, uh, especially on the old generation consoles. So you can probably expect to see some Grand Theft Auto on my channel at some point, but right now the internet is absolutely saturated with Grand Theft Auto content from every major publication and every minor publication so I'll just wait till that kinda chills out maybe a little bit and then uh, I'll put some stuff out and I'll try to do something different I mean I don't wanna put some Grand Theft Auto content that everyone's seen you know but it's gonna be hard to not do that because everyone's just putting out everything it's amazing how fast stuff is going up Anyway, let me get my head in the game here for SimCity. So, one of the questions on my previous video kind of puzzled me a little bit. Almost like defending the fact that uh, the, there's single buildings that you can buy on uh, EA Store for $10. Uh, that, that blows my mind, honestly. Like, it's, it's a gigantic ripoff. I mean, why would you... I don't know. I think because there's been already so much bad press over this game and it's DRM and it's always online policies and stuff that it's pushed itself into like this irrelevant space. And if they want to make any money off this, I think what they should do almost immediately is consolidate all the DLC they've already made for the game. Basically the release center, the circus, uh, the travel system with the blimps, the three texture packs you didn't get with a deluxe version and make that like... $9.99 or, or $12.99. I think that would be okay. That's Ill, that's even still kind of pushing it. Because if you remember back in the SimCity 4 days, there was actually only one major expansion released for that game. And it was a decently big expansion. It gave a whole bunch of stuff to the game. Gave you the ability to drive around the streets and gave you some mass transit stuff. And it added a significant portion of the game. And it wasn't like ultra expensive. So with this game, there are things that I would definitely like to see. Terraforming tools, bigger maps, uh, modding capability. There's just, they just need to open this game up and just, you know, let, let it go. Let it be, you know, let the community take over and do what they did with SimCity 4, basically. Um, then this game has the real potential to turn into something really awesome and something I would really be interested in playing over the long term. I mean, I still load up SimCity 4 and check that, that game out. I, I still really like it, and especially with all the different mods and stuff. I mean, the community has really done some awesome, awesome things with that game. Well, let me get myself reacclimated with the stat screen. Let's see what, uh, what's going on in Jumbo Shrimp. Well, 
for the most part, we're pretty positive here. We did start off with a little shakiness, putting ourselves into a negative budget. We still have that bond that we have to pay off, but we are actually making a decent amount of money at this point. And we're just going to continue to keep expanding, and we'll have to put some services in and all that good stuff. And I don't remember how much time I'm going to have before things start catching on fire, people getting sick, committing crimes, and basically everything going to hell. One thing I am curious about about the new patches is if the city sizes are making sense in the population stat screen. Uh, I don't know if... 3,500 people is representative of what we're looking at right here, but I do like how all the roads in the city are shaping up. It, uh, it's actually turning out quite a bit better than I thought it was. I was like, oh man, making the giant dartboard again. I gotta do something to <laughs> make this look interesting. It almost looks like a big spaceship or something if you kind of look at it. I don't know. Of course, this is one of the massive advantages this new SimCity has over the old game is to make organic looking cities. You really have great tools to make your city look very interesting from up above looking down at it. Essentially, in the old game, everything really had to be a grid. And uh, even though everything was much more massive in scale, I mean... It dwarfs this game, I'm sure you know if you've played that one. And then the only other game we had to compare to is basically Cities XL, and you could make organic looking cities, but that game was just a glitchy mess. Hmm, I don't know if I just like that last road placement there. It's kind of breaking my whole circles thing here. Oh well, it was bound to happen. Running out of room causes, uh,. It causes you to improvise. Now, I have watched a couple of cool videos on YouTube basically showing how to elevate the the road to like make um, bridges and stuff and elevated roadway over your city. Maybe I might try something like that. I'm going to have to watch those videos again though because I have no idea how to do it. Um, and I basically picked the easiest plot of land in this entire region to work with because I just like having uh, you know, a good portion of flat land so I can work with. Now, there is some curves and stuff going in the, the landscape here, but it's mostly flat, which makes uh, building a city quite not very challenging. Um, but of course, you have to sacrifice uh, a lot of your potential for income by loading up one of those other things that are like half filled with some other like impassable landscape. Uh, of course you can do some cool things but with this limited area to work with it's really kind of a no-no in my opinion. <laughs> I've gotta have my space! So that's why we went with this flat land I guess. They did add back in the super accelerated speed mode. Um, but basically, the fastest speed was about this middle speed that we're going on here, and that's pretty much what I'm comfortable with, because that's what I did my other Let's Play speed at. And again, unlike the other one, I'm pretty much doing everything straight on, I'm not cutting. Like last time I would cut out the boring parts, like basically what we're looking at right now, waiting for money to come in. Uh, but it looks like I do have enough for the fire station, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that down, because that is probably very shortly going to become an issue. I'm actually surprised some of the houses haven't caught on fire or that I've had some kind of random disaster. Usually once those random disasters start running and rolling out, uh, it's non-stop. Um, I just hope that, uh, you know, I don't get irradiated land from, uh, you know, a comet strike or something. <laughs> that just ruins everything. I really don't think that one should be in there, or at least it shouldn't cause radiation damage or destroy all the water on your freaking landscape because there's no save and, save and load feature in this game like there was in the old ones, so you can't like undo those things once, they, once they've been done. And essentially that ruins your entire game if you have like radiation there. You, you're, you almost have to like start over because like that area is always permanently damaged. And I didn't read through the patch notes to see if that was something that was fixed, so I could be saying stuff that is already uh, repairable. 
but uh, one of the first freaking buildings that uh, they should have released for this game is like a um, a radiation cleanup crew. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this second one. I really appreciate you guys hanging out and watching this. I appreciate all the positive feedback. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.